everyone, it's Yolanda. I am starting the stamp organization. This is, I know, kind of a little weird of an angle. I'm sitting on a stool on the ground and I was gonna start cleaning and organizing and I was like, wait a minute, I'm supposed to be filming this. So I have started here on this bookcase. It is just a clear white, clear, plain white bookcase. Um, it would be great if I could get another shelf and I could have sworn I had one and at some point probably took it out, but I can't find it now. So I'm so bummed, but I was thinking of just going to Home Depot and taking just this, this one's movable. This one's fixed and, um, this one on top is fixed, taking it with me and then just having a piece of wood cut because if I could go one more shelf right here this level would be great but we'll see anyhow i am a stampin up demonstrator i don't do it for like a business i'm more of just a hobby demonstrator and i've been that's actually how i started crafting is with stampin up how i got into this whole thing um but i i really need to destash some of this because it's just, i don't need any more and I really think I should just at the next, um, what do you call it, quarter, just let my um, demonstratorship go. But then they come out with this darn catalogs and their stuff is so cute and I just get sucked right back in. <laughs> Anyhow, I've taken out my catalogs. I have the, the idea book. I have the mini catalog, the new one. I have the celebration and then I have the holiday catalog. So what I've done is I've taken out, these are all, we're all in the holiday catalog and there is a chance always that they will come out in this year's book. Let's see, this catalog expires in April. So in May, there's a chance that some of these sets will be in that book. So I'm going to keep them here for now. This shelf right here is going to be for what is current. And then, um, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to put down here because I hate to waste like all that space. So unless I can come up with something, but I guess that's what we're here for, right? To see what I do with this craft organ craft room organization. And then I'm going to go through these tubs or not tubs, but carts and do my best to purge. I've, I've purged so many wood mount stamps. You wouldn't believe it. Like over the years, I, I mean, I want to say I have less than way less than half of what I used to have because in the beginning it was all wood stamps. So, you know, that's where we were at when you started rubber stamping, it was all wood. And then you go through that phase of like, okay, this is too much. I don't need it. So I have gotten rid of a ton and the rest honestly are filled with stamping up that I just store. You could see, you know, you could see through, I just store on their sides like that. So I really need to go through there and get rid of some, and up there on top are stamps that don't fit. I already had these wood stamps and then I bought some more off eBay and I forget where else, but I was like, oh my gosh, they don't, they don't fit in here. So I need to reorganize cause this whole area is just a mess. So, all right, so I'm gonna start this and then we'll come back with um, what I've decided to purge and um, what I've done, so stay tuned. All right, so I did it again. I started cleaning and organizing before showing you what things look like and what exactly I'm doing. So I just got so excited because it's early, it's really quiet, everyone's sleeping. My doggy got boarded yesterday because we went to a wedding, so I don't have to worry about a dog waking up in a little bit, and I have like a solid two and a half hours to work in here before I have to go pick him up and take kids to school. So, um, okay, so this is my wood stamps and Stampin' Up! sets. And if you watch the very first video where I did a little pan over uh, the room, all of these were up against that wall and had a bunch of stuff on them and were just a, a mess. So I pulled everything away from the wall, I wiped everything down, cleaned it, swept and I already did start going through yesterday the drawers to purge some of my Stampin' Up! sets, which I have a lot. I'm gonna sell them or end up donating something. 
but I thought I'd show you the before and what I'm gonna do is just go through the drawers pull out what I don't need or well do I really need any of it no the things I don't want anymore and just really try to pare down my stash and so that every kid thing can just fit nicely in here and that's what I'm doing today. I cleared everything off the top of this one. I had a bunch of books that I wanted to read and I just really want to make it look nice and clean and put things in a place where they belong and then make it more functional for myself. And that way I could get busy crafting instead of spending time cleaning or searching for things. And so I've moved everything off. You can see my desk is just a mess right now. It does have to get worse before it gets better, right? I did already start that one which you will see in the clip i'm not sure if it's going to be before this or after but no, it was probably before because i started working on that shelf right there and um, i've already sorted what's uh, first stepping up what is current what is retired like recently retired in the last couple mini catalogs that way i could keep those out and hopefully use them before i put them in these drawers and like never see them again you know so that's what I'm doing right now. I might include this shelf in this organization, which I probably should because it's in the same area. But those are my flowers and all of those little boxes up there are sprays like um, Glimmer Miss and um, what do you call it? Lindsay's Stamp Gang, Prima Sprays, Dilution Sprays like that. So I really need to clean that up too. Just make it look a little neater and a little more functional for myself. So. I'm going to be working on it. It is Friday today. Um, I'm off today and tomorrow. And so I'm going to try to make the most of my time and fit it in between, you know, housework and whatever else has to get done. So come back and see some progress. All right. So I think I'm all done organizing. And I just wanted to give you a quick pan over this area. And I believe in my other video clips I did forget to show you this side so I just want to show you what I've done and how I organized so we'll start with this side I went through all of my Stampin' Up! sets I had in re very recently gone through my wooden stamps and purged what I didn't want any longer so I didn't go through those this time I just went through all the Stampin' Up! sets. I purged what I no longer wanted and just organized. And I believe I have three empty drawers, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty sure I have three empty drawers. And uh, I just separated them uh, by, you know, miscellaneous, by flowers, by sentiments, by birthday or holiday. And so hopefully that'll be easy for me to find what I'm looking for. If you have a good tip on how to store them so that you can find them easier or a better like categories let me know all right um i have this out because i'm going to show you something in a second up on top here i have some stamp boutique stamps if you've ever bought from this company they have a designer his name is daniel Tor torrenti and he draws these cool goth looking creepy looking characters and so i i love them <laughs> And I have a little collection here, so I have those up on top. Next to it is a box of Printworks stamps. Uh, Printworks has been around forever. They closed their doors a few years ago, and their warehouse is like literally five, not even ten minutes from my house. Like they're really close. And I went to their sale, and so that's print works and then this down here was a buy off of ebay they were sold this like whole lot together of coffee and tea themed stamps so i bought it i purged what i didn't want and then the rest went in here um okay before i go on to the rest i want to show you what i did a long time ago i had since i've been buying stampin up sets if you've been a i'm gonna take one out so you can see it if you've been buying Stampin' Up! sets for a while, you know they all came uh, wood mounted and in a plastic clamshell. So they take up a lot of space. So I watched this YouTube video one time uh, and this lady removed just the rubber part from the wood and then she used this Crafter's Companion Easy Mount Static Cling Mounting Cushion. 
and you peel off that white liner, you it's sticky, you put your stamp down on it, and then you cut away the rest. Well, I used a hot knife. It made it really easy, so I was able to get really close around the edges, and then I put them in CD cases. So you can see how much room I was able to save. Each each and every one of these was a clamshell with wood wooden stamps. I might have two drawers like that. Yeah, I really, oh gosh, this drawer is stuck. Sorry about that. So yeah, if you're wanting to save room with Stampin' Up! sets, that is definitely the way to go. And then um, before I show that last bookshelf, I'll show this side. Okay, I know I did, like I said, I didn't show this in the last uh, couple clips, but that little cart right there, chest or drawers, um, I bought um, another like a great deal off of Facebook Marketplace. This lady was getting rid of that whole entire thing filled with stamps for a hundred bucks. It was filled with close to my heart stamps was the majority and then a few loose wooden stamps. So I purged what I didn't want, but then that little um, organizer fit perfectly right there. So I was able to store some more stamps in there. Not that many. Um, there, there are a few stamp, um, close to my heart sets in there. And then over here I have, uh, this little cubby. I have one on this side and on the other side of my desk, I have two. So right here I have on this top one, I have the Stampin' Up! Alphas. These I left on the wood blocks or I haven't even mounted them yet because I didn't want to use uh, that much of that clean cushion. So I just left them like that because that would have been a lot. And then the bottom right here is um, Stampin' Up! sets that I bought recently. There was a few video uh, YouTubers I was watching that were like gung-ho for old Stampin' Up! sets and so they were finding them off eBay and you know different Facebook marketplaces uh, um, posts and Mercari and stuff so I, I fell right into that I started watching those videos and then I was on the hunt for whatever it is that they found that was super cute so then I started buying more wood stamps like how ridiculous is that for myself like I'd already had all this other and I was trying to save space so I, I stopped that right away. Well, I obviously have some, but I stopped it. I was like, okay, I can't watch these videos anymore. But those are some of the sets. And I'll just give you an example. Like, they're really older stamps. Okay, that's not that old. But, okay, for instance, this. This is from, like, 2002. It's, like, a, a garden theme. And there's, like, angels and stuff. So, yeah, I'm not buying any more. I stopped. But that's in there, and at, I might at some point put them on cling mount, but I, I haven't done it in a while, so I just left them in there. And then this down here is Christmas. There are a couple Stampin' Up! wood sets. The rest are all the um, the clear polymer or the cling. And then, uh, like I said, it's not all Stampin' Up! It's a few other Christmas in there only. Now this... Okay, you see it's like two layers deep. This was a bargain deal that I got off of Mercari. I had bought one of those older Stampin' Up! sets and from this one seller. And so we started chatting back and forth. And she said she had a bunch of stamps that her aunt had given her that she hadn't had a chance to list, but she just wanted to get rid of them. So she offered them to me for an amazing deal. So I bought them because I figured... Even if I only like a quarter of it, it would be worth it. I think I ended up keeping about half and the rest I purged. So that's what's in there. And then over here, this top shelf is Stampin' Up! sets that are retired in the last couple mini catalogs and idea book. I just haven't put them away because I really want to try and use them before I put them away. And I do have to separate some because I think some are Christmas or different holidays. This next shelf is all current Stampin' Up! sets. And then my little die machine. And then this shelf is holiday retired that just retired out of the last holiday catalog, mini catalog, that I will be putting away. But I really want to try and make something first as well. 
This is punches and a few dies and just random stamping up stuff. And then the very bottom shelf are all handmade cards. So I do sell them at my boutiques, that container with the white lid on the bottom. It has a lot of like little card sets that are tied with the ribbon and stuff, but that's where I keep those. So I have them all ready when I do a boutique or if a, one of my kids needs a card, they can just go in there and get it. And then up here, I had already organized a while back or purge, I should say, my flowers. So that's all the flowers that I have. I used to have a couple of other containers, but I got rid of them. And then this part is empty now. And then up top, I just have a cute, a cute, a few mementos, like something the kids gave me, a little stuffed animal, little mouse that I like. And right here are my sprays. I have Glimmer Mist, Prima Sprays, Lindsay Stamp Gang. And then in here, I have some Dilution, Heidi Swap, uh, Color Shine, and Nouveau Drops. So I'm going to try and start using those. And if I don't use them soon, then I might have to purge them too. But yeah, I'm, I think I'm all done. So you've seen my clear stamps and now you see my wood and my Stampin' Up! sets. I think we really need to have our garage floor painted again. When we moved in, like the garage floor was beautiful. But can you imagine having to try and move all this stuff out? <laughs> yeah, that, that would be a a mess so anyhow there we go boom done <laughs> now I can move on to the next uh, organizing project so thanks for watching bye